Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about our three-year-old son Dexter and the signs of autism that he displayed before one year old. Now, this is my husband by the way. <laughs> and Mark. So there's some random dude who <laughs> just dragged in. Dexter was diagnosed at just over three with um, autism, so he followed a path before that where he'd been seen by the professionals. We were just trying to rack our brains and think how was he different to other kids before he was one? We have a younger son called Seb. Seb is two years and four months old now. Seb is typically developing. Dexter, or our autistic son, was our first child, so we didn't know what was typical development really, did we? We didn't know what we were what we were even looking at for a long time. But now we've had Seb, it's interesting to see the differences and we don't compare our children because I hate that, they're very different people. Yeah, it's hard isn't it? Different strengths <clears throat> and different challenges and they're both as, as loved and as special as each other. Now to look back, even though we didn't notice any signs in Dexter until he was about 13, 14 yeah, years Yeah, just old. over one, wasn't it, yeah. Looking back, now with hindsight and having um, brought Seb up as well, you can see the differences, yeah. can't you? And, and you can see that the differences were there for me from very, very early on now. I mean, it's... we're not experts, we don't, you know. No. I've not been around that many babies, so you didn't know what was typical and what wasn't, but... No, but there were subtle signs. Now, if you're watching this because you have a younger uh, child and you start listening to this video and you think, Oh my gosh, that sounds just like my child. Um, these are traits that are quite common in babies anyway. It doesn't necessarily mean your child is autistic. If they are, by the way, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> it's going to be fine. We live a very happy family life. Or both our children are very happy. Even, yeah, if they are autistic, it, it doesn't mean to say they're going to develop in the same way as Dexter. It's the not knowing that kills you. That kills you. It's it sad. is. It is. It's the not it's the uncertainty. Knowing. So yeah. you know, once you show you can, you can help them. And, yeah. You know, just help them to be there. You can deal with it, whatever the outcome. It, okay. it will. It will be fine. I promise. But anyway, we're here to talk about the very early signs that we saw in Dexter. So I think the first thing, like he wasn't a big mimicker. I mean. He wasn't coming up to us going mam 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 da 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 or babbling typically was he really? No. Dexter has Dexter is still at three, non-verbal. He will mimic some speech sounds. Uh, it's not like he tries to speak and he can't. He just isn't really interested in verbal communication. Yeah, just not on his agenda at this time. Um and that was one of the biggest first signs, lack of he did babble though. Room thing, haven't we? Yeah. I've got videos of him babbling. It wasn't like eye contact looking. No. You know. It wasn't communicative <clears throat> babbling, was it? Yeah. He didn't mimic if you made an action like stuck your tongue out or yeah. pulled on your hair or a lot of babe, or banged on a drum or whatever. He wouldn't he wouldn't copy that. He wasn't so bothered about getting your attention. No, that's those means. another one. He didn't bring us things no, to that's show off us, for a set of things, like, you know. like babies do. Um, he explored, he was very interested in yeah. his surroundings, very interested. He wasn't a baby that just sat there and stared into the distance. He was very interested in everything around yeah. him, but not so interested in sharing that with us. No. no. It wasn't a pointer either. Um, I think we have points of things and we have look at you, look at your reaction or... No. Uh, Seb, our other son, started doing this around 10 months old, yeah. didn't he? Now some babies don't start pointing until after one anyway, so that in itself is not a sign in under in babies under 12 months old. Um, but Dexter didn't point until he was about two and a half. Yeah, it was a big thing when he did, so I remember yeah. I think it was a big thing. But even now, he doesn't do it very often, does he? Yeah. He's not like a, oh look at that mommy and daddy yeah. kind of child. If you say to him, where's such and such a thing, he'll point to it then, so he knows what a point is for. Yeah. And he has pointed in the past to get our yeah. attention to certain things, but it is certainly not something he does very often, no. is it? Not on top of his agenda at all. Another thing I noticed was things like, you know when you take children to baby singing, rhyme time groups, things like that? De Babies under 12 months are quite scary. I yeah, that's it. They're, look, they're looking to catch your eye on me sometimes. They'll watch what's going on, they'll watch the other children. Now, Dexter loved things like this. He yeah. loved it. He wasn't not a distressed that. baby. 
but his attention was more on, say if there was toys there, he would be looking at the toys, he would be wanting to crawl off to get the toys. Yeah. Dexter would love the music, yeah. but he would be not really looking in the direction of what was going on. No, not as much as the kids. When we, when we went somewhere new, he would always want to, he was on the go all the time. Yeah. Dexter had no physical delay, so he crawled at six months, was it? Yeah, six, seven months he was crawling. He was an early crawler. Yeah. Um, and the second he could crawl, he was just off. Which you remember having to like hem him in. Yeah. Thing. Like we you had would, to yeah. set up. If we if we went to a cafe, we had to put like chairs in a square <laughs> yeah. so that he couldn't forget about stuff. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, and he wouldn't look back that much to check in. You no, know, he would just to see if we were still there. He'd just be yeah. interested in doing what he was doing. Yeah. Uh, he also wouldn't sit in a high chair, would he? No, just bored. He was, but yeah, in, I mean his mind was probably going like tens of dozens, so yeah, much going on. Yeah, it else interesting. Taking it all in. He just is very aware of everything, isn't he? Yeah. And very interested in, in everything and, and then he'll get very focused on the one thing. That's it, was hyper-focused. Once he was interested in that, it was difficult to divert his attention or if you call his name, you couldn't always get his attention. <laughs> Dexter! Dexter! He's too obsessed with your toy, Thomas, to do anything. So you'd be like chasing after like a ball or something, you're calling after it and like Dexter, Dexter, and you'd be like that intent on yeah, he was getting his ball, ball, he was there. Yeah. yeah, didn't think that much at the time, but... Do you know how you're old he was? Because I know what exactly when you're thinking of him, do you know how old he was? Mm, it's about nine months. No, he was younger than was that. Was he even younger? I think he was right. about seven. Was he? Like seven months old. God, so basically as soon as he could crawl, he was, yeah. Because we basically took the same video in the same situation of Seb doing yeah. the same thing. And Seb was chasing after this ball, but when you went, Seb, Seb, he'd, he'd be like, yeah. what? He'd look over. Um, Whereas no, Dexter just wanted the ball. Yeah. And do you remember when we, we went on a cruise for our honeymoon? Oh, such a good cruise. Yeah, I want to go back. Dexter was seven months old when we went on honeymoon. And um, we were in terrible, having him out of wedlock. <laughs> yeah, disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> and we were in the restaurant, and do you remember the waitress that was obsessed with him? She loved him. Yeah. It. And she came over, and do you remember what he was interested in? Just looking at a name badge, I think it badge, was. Yeah. yeah. He was interested, but not. As interested as like you know, all of a sudden, Seb would have been like oh, looking yeah. at her face, whereas Dex was like, "Ooh, look at the name yeah. card." <laughs> trying to get approved, what he said, but yeah, Dex wasn't so much like that. Dex is a really, really visual person now. He's very fascinated by visually interesting things. Dex was a very placid child. I think when you talk about early autism signs, people expect you to list all the things that um, they were distressed by. Uh, Dexter wasn't distressed by much, was he? No, he was, he was a dead easy, dead he, easy baby. I think that comes though from him not needing attention in the same way that, that typical children do. He wasn't an attention seeker. Um, even for things like pain, um, the first time I noticed he was teething was when I felt his first tooth. Yeah. Are you going to be quiet? I think, I think I can feel a tooth, it, not on me, like here on Dexter, and yeah, and I'm really surprised because he hasn't really shown any signs of distress or anything with teething. Have you? But I'm sure, I'm sure I can feel a tooth. So compare, when, just compare it to Seb. Yeah, whereas Seb, you, you knew when Seb was yeah. teething. <laughs> you knew. The tears were there. And yeah. Just trying to keep attention, yeah. Yeah, whereas Dexter just sort of got on with it. He wasn't the easiest person to wean, was he? Really? He was a big child to wean. He didn't seem to enjoy food. No. At all. Um, weaning him from milk to food was just so hard and yeah. I remember thinking how do people do this and people just seem to get on with weaning their child and, and just feeding text it was hard work. We were sticking to the same things we were like oh yeah. give him a bread roll to gnaw on and yeah that was even at like just that was, um, yeah, eight months. Eight months? Yeah. Oh, special Dexter. You like that? You get some bread? <laughs> yummy, yummy. I swear he knows when there's a camera point. Yeah, he does. See his little teeth coming through well? Yeah, to eat your bread. Good boy. 
he always does this whenever he whenever needs something, whether he likes it or not, the first thing he does is. <laughs> he wouldn't just try loads of different foods. Even going back even earlier than that, like six months when you first start weaning, it, he was didn't seem to like the jars very often at all. He just wanted yeah. milk. Um, and then when you gave him the jars, there would only again be a few of them that he would yeah. eat. You had to stick to the trial and test it, didn't yeah, you really? So. Yeah, and that's that's continued. It's something that we're working on, but he does have a restricted diet. There's no there's no two ways about it. I can hear Dexter playing that sort of thing. Um, She's got the knives out. I feel upset. Do you want to see to him and I'll make this last call? Yeah, cool. The final thing really was um, Dexter has such a good memory. Dexter has a brilliant memory now. He's actually hyperlexic, which means he memorizes words and knows what those words relate to. He would just show obvious recognition for TV characters that he really liked. So he was really into things like the Teletubbies. Um, and he, you could tell he, he, if you were out and about, he would see like a toy telly to and get really excited, um, and that was like way before 12 months. That memory is really coming into its own now, now that he's older. Anyway, thank you for taking a walk down memory lane with us. It was nice to go back and think about early little baby Dexter. If you're interested in finding out more about our family and Dexter's journey and Dexter's progress, Check out our other videos, subscribe. Oh, we're also on Instagram and Facebook. I think I've plugged enough now. <laughs> and thank you for watching, and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.